okay. I'm just looking at um, painting these sabotages. If you remember, I had this is the one that had uh, like an injection pen mark or molding mark on it. So I've sanded that uh, smooth. That's back in it. And um, so now it's completely flat. This one's still got all the lines that it came with. I was thinking of putting one of these um, eagles on it, but if you want to see if I can pick that up, it doesn't uh, it doesn't fit within the lines. However, as a sort of happy coincidence, maybe of. Um, Mm -hmm. Gonna pick up. I've sanded off the lines on this one. I can get it to fit here. It's a bit awkward doing this because I'm behind the camera, so. Okay, that would look like that. Something like that. And I could paint some decorations and so on around the side myself. But I could also just use use this one for practice, perhaps, and print, paint a uh, uh, some sort of design onto it myself, which would be similar to the eagle. And uh, I have a few other thoughts in mind as well. For the straps, I was just going to use paper because that's what I've been using. But then I also have this. This flat lead one millimeter. Um, it's just about the right size with the straps for this and for the um, uh, sword as well, which is uh, there, saber. It's got two connections, and there's a, in the Hysterex, uh, I think it's Hysterex Collector's Guide, I'll put it on screen at this moment. There's a little illustration of how the straps on the saber connect to the Saber tash connect to the belt and so on. So that's another possibility to look at, something else to do. And then lastly, I thought I'd also show you these. Uh, these are, um, as you can see, belts and straps for rifle, carbine, submachine gun with buckles. Okay, so I could use these as straps as well, because they would be exactly the right, pretty much exactly the right size. But I've used this kind of thing before and they're okay, but they're a bit hard to manipulate. So it might be more difficult to use. Whereas the lead strips, these, they, um, they're they obviously very, just bend whatever way. They're almost like a sort of thick um, foil, except they're lead rather than aluminium. Okay, so that's where I'm at now. So I'm gonna proceed with them. Um, doing these saber tashes. Okay. Okay, well, here I am back again. I haven't done too much more work. Here's a little bit of uh, work on the horse I've done. I'm trying to tidy him up a bit. To be honest, I want to, I sort of want to start from scratch again with this. But, I think I probably would prefer to start another project. Hope you can see that okay. Is it? A bit of work on there on the saddle and so on. I don't want to zoom in too close because uh, this um, 4K video is, is cruel. <laughs> it's cruel to your painting skills, at least it is to mine's. Maybe other people can get away with it. So that's a little bit of the horse, and I said I was working on the saber tash thing. Hey, oops. Here's that. I put those little flat lead strips on, I haven't painted them or anything yet. Put some decals around it, so let's zoom in on that. And get a good view of it. Yeah, put some decals, those Tamiya decals from a the senior officers, one of the one sixteenth scale, I think it was. And put a little eagle in the middle. I think it looks pretty nice. It's one way of doing it anyway. Then I have this other one, which I started to do by hand. But I think I might redo it. 
doesn't quite work that. But we'll see. That's a little practice project. And here's his uh, saber scabbard. Okay, you can see there what that looks like. I don't expect to get too much more work done over the next few days because of the heat, but uh, also we've got gas down, so all the uh, even my craft room's been taken over by uh, by someone, so the uh, house is full up. Okay, now I'll leave it there for now.